Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anilon Nepal. This is a video series of Fortran tutorial and today we are going to discuss about the loop in Fortran. So what exactly is loop? A loop can be defined simply as a repetition of a code. It's like a cycle going through the same code again and again. Let me show you one example of program. Okay, and program and let's give the name loop implicit known. Okay. I will give one simple statement, print statement, and I want to say hello everyone. Now we want to say hello everyone about five times or about ten times or maybe hundred times, thousand times. How to do that? Copy that statement and go down and paste, go down and paste. But can we really do that thousand, lakh times? That's going to be a difficult. So let's give that tax for a loop. So how to perform this tax using a loop? And for the loop in Fortran, we have do loop. And there is another loop which we are going to discuss in the next video. Let's go and look at the syntax of do loop first. So how to create a do loop? To create a do loop, we have to write do and end do like if and end if, select case and end select, program and end program like that. And we have to create one variable, but that variable must be of integer data type. And we need a starting point and a stop point and optional step. I will talk that about it later. And inside this is the body of the do loop. So how to perform that? So first we have to create an integer variable. I will say i simple. Now do an integer variable that means i equals to we need a starting point let's give one and we need a stop point let's give 10 and step i will not give a step for now and i will do end do so whatever we write here inside the do loop it's going to repeat it 10 times because starting is a one and stop is 10 so it will go like one two three four five six up to ten that means 10 times same code will be executed so let's write print and hello sorry hello everyone okay let's run it okay g4 turn loop dot f95 dot slash a dot out so we got hello everyone 10 times exactly so this is the way we can repeat the same tax using the do loop now let's do about 100 times very simple just put the stop point 100 and let's run it so we got about 100 times so like this we can do okay now now let's print out the number from 1 to 20 so do an integer is equals to we need 1 to 20 so i'll give 1 to 20 and we have to do end to now what i want to print i want to print 1 to 20 so what is 1 to 20 that is the i and i will explain it later so we got 1 to 20 so how that happens okay if we see our code closely let me show you first how the do performs this the very first statement of do itself will be executed or computed only once in the program so when we gave i equals to 1 and 20 this is the start and this is the stop so that will be stored in the memory for now now the inside body of do loop will be executed times and again it will be cycled it will be looped until the condition is met what is the condition start from 1 and go up to 20 and that value will be changed to i so when it starts the first value of i will be 1 and print i i is 1 so 1 will be displayed and it will go again i value is next time 2 now print i that means 2 i value 3 so 3 i value 4 so 4 like this it will go over and over again until the stop point comes now let's create i plus 3 now First value is 1, so 1 plus 3, 4 will come. Second value 2, 2 plus 3, 5 will come. So like that, 
let's run it so we got four five six seven like that now let's give the step point i'll give three now what happens is the very very first value of i will be one then it should go up to 20 but with a step of three so first one then one plus three four next point will be four then four and three seven ten thirteen it goes like this let's display out see we got one four seven ten thirteen sixteen nineteen so what is happening here it's simply the repetition of the same code again and again so like this do loop works okay the end uh, there are some important things to remember while using the do loop remember not to use any other data type variable here do loop is valid only with the integer variable so here i is created as a integer variable and uh, regarding this start stop and step i am showing the example of increasing number but you can give uh, step minus 3 uh, let's give starting point okay 20 and uh, stop point 1 with subtraction of minus 3 so let's run it so we got the descending value from 20 to 1 like that so you can do in that way also so basically in the start stop and step you can give negative value to any one of this quantity uh, let me create another i will start from minus 10 to 10 so it goes from minus 10 and it increases minus 9 minus 8 and it goes up to 10 when the step quantity is not written then the default step will be 1 so it will increase or decrease by the unit of 1 so let's display out we got from minus 10 to 10 now let's create a one program where we give two value and it gives the addition of that two value about 10 times in a row uh, let's give another variable i will say number you can give the variable name as you want so i am going to create do and the integer variable is num is equals to i am going from 1 to 10 because i need 10 times to do that and i will say in do now what i want is i want to display certain text i will say enter two numbers and i need user to enter the two numbers so that's why i am going to use read statement as i discussed about the read in the previous video and i want that two numbers to be stored in a and b let's create that variable a and b integer first we have to declare okay a and b now now what i want is to print the result of sum of a and b so a plus b let's write certain text also sum is equal to and remember comma as a separator okay now so simple program so what happens is we are using the do loop that means repetition of this code inside code and the starting point is 1 end point is 10 that means it will repeat up to 10 times okay and uh, we are not going to use the number from 1 to 10 here so instead of giving 1 to 10 you can give 10 to 20 also or 20 to 30 because we need about 10 times so you can give any numbers there because that really does not matter in our program okay because we just want to repeat this code about 10 times we don't want to use the number given to the start or stop quantity okay so let's see what happens okay we are going to run and one thing we forgot to do end program okay so let's clear out first okay now let's run it so enter two numbers now i'm going to give 8 and 7 now it gives sum is equals to 15 now 10 and 89 it gives 99 80 and minus 56 it gives 24 it goes about 10 times if we go on like this 25 85 this code will run about 10 times because 
we have given starting 10 and end stop 20 so from 10 to 20 about 10 times and uh, when you want to exit out of that loop you simply can press the control c and the program will stop now this is the do loop we generally use while computing numerical problems but uh, there is another way of using do loop in a photon uh, that is called general do loop uh, and what's the difference between them is in this loop we keep the integer variable and start and stop point but in the general loop we just write do and undo and we write the statement inside now be careful while using this loop because since uh, start and stop point is not given at first so this loop might continue infinitely so we, we need to be careful about that let's create that one first i'll give you one simple example of that loop okay so do loop and here i will i will write uh, i will say uh, okay enter the number and here i will say read uh, that variable a okay and what i want is to display the value of of a that is entered by the user and the square of a and uh, 10 times of that a okay uh, uh, let's give in bracket yeah it's not actually necessary okay and now let's create so enter the number so i give five so it shows five that is it shows five that is a then it shows 25 that is a square then it shows 50 that means 10 into 10 times 5 is 50 so this is the loop now it will go infinitely because we have not given any stop point there it's the general loop so let's give the number you give the number and it goes on give the number it continues it never stops so we have to stop ourselves so it can be harmful so we have to be very careful while you while using such kind of do loop and let's terminate using ctrl c okay so this is all about the do loop in photon this video ends here and we will be discussing uh, examples of do loop in the next video okay if you have any question write down in the comment section below until then bye bye take care